is up guys fans here um, this is basically just this Hall of Heroes um, I guess more of a detailed overview well actually I had an overview <laughs> more, more of a review because I I've done this dungeon many many times already uh, throughout the day and some of the things I noticed when I was trying to build a team to fully auto this uh, this is this is a team I got to a pretty high clear rate and it takes around five minutes, uh, no more than five minutes and thirty seconds to do this. Around four minutes and thirty seconds to five minutes and thirty seconds. So this team is decent. It's not the fastest team. I've seen some really insane fast teams, like uh, three-minute runs and, and all that crazy shit. Uh, but this team takes around, yeah, it takes around five minutes. Uh, main focus is I use different types of elements. So I have a fire, a water, wind, light, and dark. Uh, meaning that I, ca I can kind of spread out their damage because I have every single type of element. Meaning that they won't ever focus one guy. So the first part, um, you know, there was wind that's going to hit my water and uh, water that's going to hit my fire. So, you know, none of them focus the same targets. Also, these five units synergize really well together. Uh, attack bar fill, double attack bar fill to get a lot of turns. Uh, speed buff for well, attack bar fill and speed buff for for Bernard. Uh, buff clear for Veramos, some CC for the enemy team. Theomars is my main damage dealer. Arm, armor break on Belladon and um, healer Belladon. So I got I got a standard dungeon team right here. Uh, two supports, or actually like three supports, uh, one healer and one DPS. Um, the, sorry about the screen tearing, I'm recording on my pad and my pad isn't very, very, uh, I'm co recording on my cheap pad, it's not the one I use for streaming. Um, I was just streaming all today, so the one I use for streaming is like completely out of battery. Uh, so, this team, you just use different elements, I use, I take advantage of using different elements, and basically having all these units tanky enough to make sure that none of them ever die. Um, and yeah, all I do is just run run this through, and it takes yeah it takes like five minutes or so to do this. I guess with the lag, it's taking a little bit longer. Uh, it might actually go to six minutes because of the the input lag from the device, um, because I'm trying to stream it to my phone. I'm streaming to, from my phone to PC. So the third part, you gotta be kind of careful. Uh, the Sea King hits really really hard with this skill. It does like. Uh, I don't think I can highlight this. But it's basically an AoE that stuns. If you're unlucky, all five of your units can st get stunned, and um, someone could die here. Now with this team, I got pretty high clear rate because even if my Bernard or uh, Bearwells dies at this part, I can still pretty much four-man the dungeon. I still have one attack bar filler even if one of them dies, and then I still got my DPS. No one's going to focus the Mars, um, except for this Wind Towers who does brilliant damage. Um, later at the Light Dark parts, also, they're not focusing my Theomars. My Theomars is pretty safe here, so it's pretty nice to have my DPS character as Water Element um, for this dungeon, because it just happened to work. And the first part, as long as Theomars is able to survive that first uh, Aquila, like triple Aquila, you can do the dungeon. So I've never... This team is not a hundred percent, but I've had only had it fail like maybe once or twice out of, um, I guess like, I think I've done I think I've done over a hundred runs now, so I've only had it fail once or twice. Uh, this is pretty pretty safe. Wait, have I done a hundred runs? If I have like four hundred pieces, yeah, I think I I think I've done a hundred runs. Alright, so the one of the reasons why this Hall of Heroes is, is much easier, I mentioned before in a previous video, is because uh, none of them, they used to all be the same element, like they used to have all light, all dark, all fire, all wind, uh, meaning that they focus down on one of your units really, really hard. And the only way you can get 100% clear is if you bring a reviver, but this is no longer the case. Uh, they have different elements for you know different parts of the lo level, and in order to just spread out their damage so none, none of your units die, uh, I just bring five different elements. 
So this is this is what I do. And all five of these characters just happen to synergize really, really well with each other. So um, I guess it's, I guess I'm lucky this time. I'm able to farm this many just because I've I've happened to have these units. I guess along the way, uh, once you start to get lots and lots of six stars, you're gonna be able to have different monsters to choose from when you're doing future Hall of Heroes and stuff. So don't be too discouraged if you're not able to do B3 because B3 is actually quite difficult. Um, if you can do B2 in the time it takes you to run, uh, if you can do two B2 runs in the time it takes you to run one B3, then go ahead and run B2 because it's probably going to be uh, more worth your time. If you're willing to sacrifice the energy, the energy won't be worth it, but the, you'll be able to get more pieces in a shorter amount of time. So it depends on how badly you want the brownies to skill up your other brownies. I'm currently aiming to try to get at uh, over over 20 pieces. I'm not sure if I'm able to do it, but I'm still trying this really really hard. Obviously, if I if I sleep less in the next two nights, um, I'll be able to do this more easily. So. Yeah, it's it's so, sometimes um, brownies get really scary because they can proc violent. So you know, unless I get really, really, really unlucky, um, I'll never claim 100% ever because <laughs> brownies are just too RNG. There's like different random things can happen all the time, um, especially at the second part of the level with Orion. Um, Orion's kind of an the underrated brownie. But he's actually the most dangerous brownie because his third skill, it can do nothing. But it can also be like extremely lethal. Um, you could be brought low and then the, uh, the Orion might happen to put some random like healing debuff on your unit that's brought low and put slow or stun on your healer. And then... Um, Another Orion can armor break, and you know, then one of your units is just gone right there. And if you lose one of your units early on, uh, it just greatly lowers the speed, well, the, the speed of your runs, and the time it takes you. Well, no, I mean, speed is the time it takes you, um, and the um, the rate of your your success. So there's no real way to counter that. Um, you just want to have as much HP, as much defense as possible so you're able to at least do some tanking. Uh, even my DPS character, my Theomars, is you know one of the, one of the DPS, one of the um, damage dealers that are pretty hard to kill, uh, especially now with his buff. He's already got pretty high base HP, so Theomars is already you know somewhat tanky. Um, and now he gets that endure whenever he's brought low, so the chances of him dying are pretty low. I've never had Theomars actually die before, um, and to be the cause of like my failure, it's usually because well, actually the three runs was all because my Verd died. Usually at the second part because the Orion's like to focus Verd. Um, Orion is really really dangerous, so he's the most dangerous part of this dungeon. Also, I, I think I have one fail where. Uh, I got to the boss run, the light brownie procced a few times, and um, I guess I just took too much damage. They put, they put immunity on themselves and I was just not able to hit them hard enough or burst them down fast enough. I think my pad is like seriously, seriously lagging. Alright, um, this, this, this run should be over, it's pretty easy. Um, all you gotta do is... I would probably focus the light one first. If if I had if I could click and choose, um, I'd probably kill the light one first, and then kill Draco after, just because it's uh, usually Draco doesn't do as much damage as the light one. The light one's really annoying. Well, he he actually probably does more damage than Draco, but um, I mean Draco probably does more damage than him, but <laughs> because he's the boss. But um, the light one likes to he keep hitting Veramos, and he he keeps removing the speed buff on my team. Uh, which makes it so I get less turns. It's really, really annoying overall. Uh, not something I want to deal with. So, um, yeah, this is pretty much it. Um, all you gotta do is make sure your units are tanky enough. If you can, try to use different elements. Mix, mix them up as much as possible. This way, you know, your units focus one unit. 
And if you really can't do it, you can bring a reviver, but it, the runs will take longer. And if you think the runs take too long and you want to farm as many brownie pieces as possible, then just go ahead and speedrun B2 with some nukers. Alright, that is all guys. Um, good luck on this brownie hall heroes. I know this is like a little bit late. I spent already one day farming this. Uh, there are about, about like two days left. So really good luck to you guys. Uh, hopefully you'll get all the brownie pieces you want, all the skill ups you want. And yeah, hopefully I can get as many pieces and skill ups as I want. So, I think it's too laggy, it, it won't pop up. <laughs> the, the, the clicking is probably really, really delayed. Uh, this pad isn't really for streaming. So, yep, that is all. Uh, I'll see you guys next time, and peace out. Alright, we are back to do the giveaway. Um, I did say last time a number from 1 to 1,000, so th these are all the all the entries for the giveaway. Um, I just asked what's your favorite monster so um, to el be eligible you have to answer the question like what, what's your favorite monster and why and this is the end of the giveaway. Uh, I'm going to give the $10 Google card to whoever has the closest answer and I will send you the Google code within 24 hours. I'm going to order it like probably later <laughs> and um, I'll, yeah, I'll just have it um, sent to you through your, um, I think YDCB does it through email. Man, I'm just totally copying him right now. Just <laughs> whatever, you know. I, I admit I'm copying him because, you know, he he knows how how to do giveaways and, and shit. And I'm noob, so yeah. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, do a number random number generator. And to be make this dramatic, it's going to be one to a thousand. To make this dramatic, I'm going to click this ten times, exactly ten times, and the tenth time is going to be. The right one. All right, it's gonna be the the, the right number. All right, all right. I'm I'm, just, I'm I'm gonna do this. Okay, that's one. Eight fifty. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. All right, six sixty nine is the number. Six sixty nine. All right, we're gonna we're gonna check everyone's number, and the person who gets the closest number uh, is gonna get it. So there's no six sixty nine right here. Um, we got a sixty nine. We got a two. Uh, if you had one more digit, you know, you'd be pretty close. Two twenty one. Um, eight twenty. 433. I can't just be like YCCB and click one and then you know someone gets it. Um, but I'm just gonna take the closest number. So 7 724 is the closest one right now, I think. Uh, do we have a closer one? 529. Wait, 724 is closer than 529, right? Yeah, I'm right. Alright, that's it. There's a seven seven um 756 wait my math is bad let me let me just let me just open a calculator okay 7 29 minus 669 equals to 60 okay there's a 70 number difference um, and 593 minus 590 Three equals seventy six. All right, so seven twenty four is still the still the closest one. Okay, we got a we got six sixty seven. All right, this one's the closest one. This one's the closest one. Uh, right, so far, so far, six sixty seven. Seven forty three two. No, no, we got it. We got another one. We got a we got a six forty three over here with Hua. Alright, this is pretty much further away. Um, so 618. This is closest is 643 right here. 643. Alright, I don't I think I don't think my math is that bad to have screwed that up. Uh, the logo 73. 
Qua because she was my first six star and helped me progress through the game. I did say during the giveaway video that this account has to be legit. Um, it has to be an account that you're using for other things. Uh, and you have to be a subscriber. So this guy is... Okay, he's, he's a sub to other channels. Um, wait, is he sub to me? How the hell do I check if someone is sub to me? Alright guys, um... I found out that this guy is probably... The chances are, are he um, is probably using a fake account. Also, his... This account isn't an active account. Uh, it's in something that's been inactive. This is like five months ago, seven months ago. And um, I... Yeah, I just... Uh, it's like 10 months ago, so I, I haven't even been doing YouTube for that long. So uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna go back. Uh, the number was 669, and I remember there was another number that was very very close. There was a um, 637, who is the second closest to um, to the 669. Um, I think, I think it's the closest one. It was a 618. Um, yeah, 6, 643. 637. So 637 or 618. No, 637 is closer. Yeah, alright. Alright, this is probably not the best way to do giveaways, but you know. Now, why do you see we made this look so easy? Okay, whatever. 637. Um, yeah, that's only like a 30, 32 different, 32 number difference. Now, hopefully, this is a this is like a real channel. All right, subscribe to me. Only two days ago, I, I, I guess this is something they got from um, also from a YDCB viewer. So this is a legit channel. Um, also, subscribe to me. So Brit Bang, um, I mean Brit Brit Bob Bang, um, you are the winner to this giveaway. <laughs> it's just a very very small thing, um, but you know if you if you really want it, um, just I'm going to write a message here, and um, you should probably give me uh, just. Um, is there any way to private message on YouTube? No, whatever. Just, just throw in like one of your throwaway accounts, email accounts in here, and then I'll like uh, comment in here. This way, like if someone decides to spam that email account, it's fine because it's just a throwaway email account. Um, you know, like everyone has one, just you know, for 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 whatever, for porn and shit. Um, <laughs> throwaway account. I'll just just leave it here, and. Um, I will just leave a comment and then please do so in 24 hours or I will select a new winner uh, if you do not reply to this comment in 24 hours. Um. Alright, so I will send this. Uh, I will send this to you within 24 hours after you reply to me within 24 hours, and I'm, I'll I'll be getting the prize ready uh, in the meantime. So thank you guys for watching. Um, happy summoning and peace out.